Well, well, well. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our February fundraiser. This is our um, replacement, maybe um, worthy replacement for our pasta dinner. Um, so we appreciate your uh, patronage. We appreciate you coming out to check out the, the live performances, and we appreciate your, um, your bidding high and bidding often on the baskets. Uh, make sure to check out the baskets in the cafeteria. Um, the, they're also online, but you can actually see them in person in the cafeteria. Bidding, however, is 100% online. So you may do that. Um, once again, welcome to our SMP February fundraiser. And to kick off the live performances, here's the seventh grade band under the direction, the seventh grade jazz band under the direction of Mr. Trent Siebert. There he is. <laughs> All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is the seventh grade jazz band, and let's get it started. first tune swinging with Jack and I got a litany of soloists here so let's give one more round of applause to mm -hmm, Emery Olszewski, Chisholm Ezetendu, Evan Halprin, Jack Ines, Trey Malia or Malia sorry and Isaac Liebson let's give them one more round of applause. And for our next tune, we're going to slow it down a little bit and give you a seventh grade jazz band classic, Chada.
And that was Jada with solos by Evan Halperin, Emery Olszewski, Janvier Patel, Nate Armstrong, Trey Malia, Chisholm Ezintendu, and Harshini T. Let's give it up one more time for our soloists. And for our last tune tonight, we're going to take it on down to Bluesville with Riffin Around. All right, 
Thank you uh, for attending this portion of the night. As always, go ahead, keep bidding on those baskets. Um, to see the seventh grade jazz band again, our next performance will be at Jazz Fest on March 9th. So swing on by to uh, hear us and the other great jazz ensembles playing tonight as well. So let's hear it one more time for the seventh grade jazz band. And thanks. All right. And quick set change. And we'll get eighth grade on stage here pretty soon. What's that?
because it's a live stream. So, Mr. F, this is going to be, I'll take this over for the, um, the percussionists when they solo. Perfect timing with that BJ's Wholesale Club music. So, um, <laughs> so welcome back to our fun February fundraiser. This is um, uh, quite a project that we're taking on for the first time with the Solar Music Parents. Um, I don't even need to discuss what this is a, a replacement for, but all I need to do is tell you that if you have a child in one of our wonderful music programs from fifth grade through high school, you the parents are a member of the Solar Music Parents, and we thank you for your participation. We thank you for coming out uh, to our February fundraiser, and we thank you for, well, I thank you personally for having these eighth graders, these wonderful eighth grade children of yours, and our, um, and my nice jazz band here. And you, we're going to get started here with eighth grade jazz band with a piece that I wrote. When, what year is it? Did it say what year? 2006. Whoa, 2006. How many years ago is that? I wrote it in 2006 for the eighth grade jazz band at Solon uh, when I was a college professor. Um, it's called Big Swing Mama, and it's going to feature a few soloists. It's going to be, who is it? Stephen Haynes on the xylophone over there, and it's going to be Finley Barron on trombone and Jason Kaganovich on the xylophone as well. So we're going to, is that right? Okay. All right. So here's. Big Swing Mama, written by yours truly. Here we go.
Stephen Haynes. Finley Barron. Jason K. Once again, now Stephen Haynes on his xylophone, and Finley Barron on trombone, and Jason Kaganovich, Jason K, we like to call him, on the xylophone. Another round of applause for our soloists. So, um, yeah, we have, uh, make sure to, uh, which, if you've finished with this, make sure to go into the uh, cafeteria, check out the baskets, or you can go online if you feel like, you know, the crowd is too much for you, you can go online and, and bid on these lovely baskets, um, each of which at least one, every section in the high school band and orchestra has contributed a basket uh, to this fundraiser. And then there's other baskets that we've gotten um, from local vendors. Um, so, uh, and all the proceeds go to helping solo music parents help the band. Right? So help the music program, not just the band, but the music programs with um, concessions and uniforms and instruments and, and special things that, uh, that the band and, other, and choir and orchestra uh, do. Without the Solon Music Parents, we would not have the tremendous uh, music program that we have here in Solon. I tell you what, I came from higher education, the Ivory Tower, and came back to Solon because I knew uh, what was going on here was special. And we can't have that special thing without the solo music parents. So another round of applause for the solo music parents. That's yourselves. I'd like to, uh, to extend a special uh, word of gratitude to two people up here uh, who are guests in the band. One is a surprise guest. Um, I'm missing a student on tenor saxophone, unless he's back. Is he back there? He is? Yeah, come on. Richard, you're fired. I'm talking to Richard. Is that Braden? Come on down. Come on. So I'll talk while, yeah, just hurry up. But, don't, you know, take your time, but hurry up. QR codes on the screen. Bid now. Hey, check out the QR codes. Zoom in, and that'll take you to our, um, our auction website. So, <laughs> so thank you, Richard. Richard's in a high school jazz one. I caught him in the band room. Said, hey, come on, play with us. He said, okay. Just put your sack, yeah, get your saxophone. Keep that shirt on, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so
also, uh, as uh, Braden's getting ready, I also like to extend a debt of, I mean, a, a, a word of thanks, gratitude to Harshini. She's playing the bass with us. She's in seventh grade. And Mr. Luce came to me and said, hey, you want a bass player in eighth grade band, jazz band too? Harshini will play. And she said, do you need me to play? And I said, no. And then I thought about it and I said, yes. So thanks to Mr. Luce's suggestion and Harshini's uh, willingness to play with us. She's, she's like an all-star here. So um, I don't know if I can. Oh, is, is he coming yet? Is he? All right. Well, okay. So the next tune we're gonna play is called Rumba Latina. It is in the rumba style, and it features uh, uh, Dila Alam on the alto saxophone. It also features uh, Arjun Singh on the trumpet, and it features uh, was that Noah Pramble on the alto saxophone as well. It's uh, a lot of percussion, and it's real dancey, and it's a lot of fun to play. It's called Rumba Latina. So uh, as soon as um, our real tenor saxophone player, sorry, Richard, you are real, but yeah, no one knows the music better than you. So here he comes. Um, yeah, there he is. Hey, Noah. I mean, I'm sorry, that's Brayden. Brayden. So uh, we're going to play Rumba Latina next. like that Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, um, one, a two, a one, two, ready, go! <laughs> Thank you. 
La Rumba Latina. That was Adila Alam and Arjun Singh. And, oh, Noah Pramble. Yes. And for the last tune we're going to play, oh, we got something special here for you. It's by, um, yeah, it's, it's something special because, yeah, it's, we, we're going to rock it out. I mean, this is jazz band. But one of my things that I like to do for jazz band is play the kind, the styles of music that I play when I play in professional groups, and I play in jazz bands that play swing music like Big Swing Mama. I play in Latin groups that play Latin music like Rumba Latina, and I also play in rock bands that play stuff like old time rock and roll. Just take those old records off, Bob Seger. Remember that? Just wait till you hear this. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to feature. <laughs> it was going to feature Richard Liu on the saxophone, but he got fired, and his replacement, <laughs> yeah, Brayden made it, so it's going to feature Brayden Huth on tenor saxophone, and Stephen Haynes on the drums. Just wait for, just wait for this. This is going to be fun. I don't need the cowbell for this one. Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> also features Ethan Belkin on the piano at the beginning, very beginning. You'll recognize the lick. Very particular. The screws are in the right angle, pointing to the sun.
was like 13 and a half or something, like 13 or something like that. That's crazy. And the eighth grade band, stand up, eighth grade jazz band. <laughs> nice job, you guys. That was a lot of fun. Is that fun? Good, I hope so. All right, so stay tuned for Jazz Lab. Eighth grade band, exit stage left. And then Jazz Lab will be up here soon. Um, I am going to, wait a minute, I got a couple of notes here. People are texting me. Hey, make sure you mention the, let me see what this says here. So in the interim, as we're making a changeover, oh. Oh, yeah. Um, so band members, there are treats. And also uh, audience members, there are treats. There's uh, refreshments in the cafeteria. If you like to come and look at the baskets while you're having a little brownie or a cookie or some water or something, go ahead. And the treats are uh, available for the performers as well. So you guys, if you you go get a treat, hurry up, eat it, and come back and listen to the jazz band, the lab band from the high school. Um, also, I'd like to announce our show choir invitational, which is um, it's a competition, a festival of show choirs from all over the state. And uh, do we have one coming from out of state, Mr. Fernsey? No, not this year. Okay. So from all over the state, we have show choirs coming in. It's on Saturday, March 5th. Saturday, March 5th, right here in this place. It's an amazing thing. You would imagine that you are watching professionals in action. I mean, these students put a, put a lot of hard work in. And at the very end of the evening, you get to, um, you get to see our Solon High School show choir, Music in Motion. Um, also, our spring musical is really cool. It's a queen musical called We Will Rock You, based on the life of Freddie Mercury and the band. It's April 7th through a April 7th or April 10th, right here in the auditorium. Uh, keep an eye out for ticket information. Uh, you will get, you, you'll probably be notified as community members. Um, so come check that out too. Student production, all students starring in it. Um, we, do have, uh, we do have staff members who are helping out with rehearsals and, and costuming and things, but student crew, student cast, student talent it's amazing so come check out we will rock you april 7th through the 10th so stand by as we make the transition over for the jazz lab band from the high school stand by
Yes, we'll go over there. All right, all right, all right. Let's give it up one more time for the 8th grade jazz band. Sounded great out here. Nice job, 8th grade jazz band. And now coming at you is the Jazz Lab. Jazz Lab, one of the ensemble, jazz ensembles here at the high school. We got four charts for you tonight. Our first one is a little bit of a twist on an old uh, classic tune called Old Devil Moon. So here we go.
So that was Old Devil Moon. Hope you recognize that one. Now we're going to sweeten it up a little bit and uh, play a nice love ballad here um, titled It Had to Be You. My favorite version of this is the Ray Charles version. If you haven't heard it, go take a listen to it. It's so soulful. And for this tune, we're featuring Michael Lerner on trumpet for a solo section here. So give a listen to the back row here. So here's It Had to Be You. Give it up one more time for Michael Lerner on trumpet. And now for our next chart, we're going to twist it up a little bit and uh, give you a Latin tune. This is a Dizzy Gillespie classic called Night in Tunisia. We got two soloists on this one. We got Jordan Klein on trumpet and Shana Burke on saxophone. So here we go. Here's Night in Tunisia.
All right, and for our last tune this evening, we're coming at you with a good old rock tune, um, Otis Redding's Hard to Handle, famously covered by uh, the Black Crows, I believe. Um, just like with the Ray Charles version, I kind of like Otis's version better, so take a listen to it. But first, take a listen to us with Hard to Handle. Grace on solos for that one. Let's give him a round of applause. Your SHS Jazz Lab.
I know. I know. We'll play. We'll play. We'll play. The only people we hold up will be the man's and they'll be finished, so. It's like one of those free, it's like one of those free uh, public domain vamps. Oh, hello. And we're back with the high school jazz one on the stage. Look at those beautiful faces. Oh, wow. I can't believe them. Um, so um, once again, welcome and thank you for coming to our February fundraiser. On the stage in front of you is a high school jazz one. Um, and we have special guests. So after our first tune, we're going to bring the high school magicals out, which is our jazz vocal group. And they're going to sing a couple of tunes with us featuring a soloist. And it's going to be just out of this world. So we're going to get started with, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to get started with a tune that you all should know. It's called Don't Get Around Much Anymore. I was supposed to be happy birthday, I think. <laughs> that was a well-executed plan, I would say. Whose arrangement was that? Easton? Connor. Connor's arrangement? That was happy birthday. Yeah, my birthday was yesterday. Um, and it's usually around this time for the pasta dinner February fundraiser. And thanks, you guys. Thanks, Connor, for the for happy birthday. Yeah, I turned 56 yesterday. Can you believe it? 56. I'm old. I could have been. I think there's nobody in this room whose band director uh, probably could not have been. Could have been everybody's band director. I've been at this a long time. Um, so, <laughs> we, got, we got that on live feed that's like forever, right? It's going to be in the, the interwebs forever. Yeah, we've we got to keep that. So, now I think we're ready for Don't Get Around Much Anymore. Thank you. 
Daryl Zhang on the piano solo. Daryl Zhang. Let's go retrieve the mads, the magicals. Here we go. Uh, so the first tune we're going to uh, do is a, is a very lovely ballad. Um, it's, uh, the vocal part is arranged by Mr. Lewis himself. And it's going to feature Annie Weiner on, as our soloist. So we have quite a bit of goodness going on up here. Annie Weiner is going to sing this. Uh, it's originally by George Gershwin. George and I were Gershwin. And it's uh, Someone to Watch Over Me, arranged by David Wolpe and Gary Lewis. A saying old says that love is blind. So we're often told, seek and you shall find. So I'm going to seek a certain
Delicious. That's like, it was like it's like a warm hug. It's like a chocolate brownie. Come on now. <laughs> and next we're gonna do with the Mads before they have to. Most of them are in drama clubs, so they they're in rehearsals actually right now for for what? The musical. Yeah, that's right. We will rock you the musical that I announced earlier. So come and see them on April between April seventh and tenth. Uh, right here on the stage. Also, come and see them. A lot of them are in Music in Motion as well. Come see them for our uh, our invitation on March 5th. So, we're going to do two close for comfort. So, another David Wolpe arrangement. I think you recognize this. It's uh, by Jerry Bach. Uh, these songwriters, you probably wouldn't recognize their names, but I think you recognize the tune. And it's going to feature Nicole Williams on the tenor saxophone. School Magicals. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now go back to the musical rehearsal. Connor, come back and play the trombone. 
Yeah, Connors and Magicals. He'd rather sing with them than play in the band, so I had to sub for Connor. Sorry. It's wonderful to see such so many amazingly multiply talented students. What do you think? Mira back there is on the bass, and she plays, I don't know, name it. Violin, yes. Piano, yes. Bass, yes. Electric bass, yes. She plays in all of that stuff. Look at Daryl over here. He plays cello, yes. Piano, yes. Ariel right there. The piano. Violin, yes. Piano, yes. Probably more. Who else back there? Tim, he plays all the percussion instruments. Easton, he plays a whole bunch of stuff. Melody, she plays a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see. Who else is up here? Yeah, that's amazing. So you guys are supporting these uh, fine musicians and encouraging them to do as much with music as they possibly can. And we appreciate it. It's obvious. So we're going to slow it down. We're going to slow it down with, uh, it's, it's February, but it's, it's not quite March. This is a, an, uh, really known as an Irish tune, I guess. It's Danny Boy. I'm going to slow it down and kind of take it to like the Count Basie type uh, sound. So this is Danny Boy. Can we turn the button? Features Connor Grimm. That's why I came back to play the trombone, because it features him on this thing.
Connor Graham on the trombone solo. So sometimes when I'm choosing music, not sometimes, very often when I'm choosing music for the jazz band, I'll go to the websites, publishers' websites, and listen. Um, I saw this thing called Gingerbread Boy, which we're about to play, and it's like a really cool tune. Um, my favorite arrangement is uh, by Clark Terry, a, a really famous uh, uh, jazz trumpet player. And I said, oh, wow, Gingerbread Boy. And I found it, and I passed it out. And then I didn't read the small print. But then it said, I looked at it, it said, written for the Howard University Jazz Ensemble, Fred Irby Director. Um, so I went to Howard University. I was in the Jazz Ensemble, and Fred Irby was the director. I didn't play this tune. I think he wrote this in like the 90s or the early 2000s, this arrangement. But also, before coming to Solon, I taught at Howard University, and Fred Irby was one of my colleagues. He was actually one of the, one of the, uh, instrumental reasons that I ended up teaching at Howard for 11 years. Um, and I played shows with him, played gigs with him, and then, so it's just, it just kind of brings everything back home. And now I get to play with my band here at Solon, a piece that was written for my alma mater and the, the, the person who's really responsible for my commercial trombone career in D.C., Fred Irby. So if you're watching Fred Irby, he's not, but um, I'll show him the I'll, show, I'll give him a, a link to the thread later and say we dedicate this to you, the Howard University Jazz Ensemble and Fred Irby. This is Gingerbread Boy. It's going to be really cool. Just wait to hear what Easton has for us. Also features Patrick Burns and Nicole Williams. Who's Patrick Burns? He. There was a Patrick Burns at some point in my career. Patrick Burke is at this point in my career. So um, Patrick Burke is also one of the uh, star divers for our for our amazing diving team. And yeah, so they're they're going all the way. They got a, another meet, like a something really important on Thursday. Bethany, back to Bethany Mercer is another star diver. So let's see what else we got going on up here. We these kids are just into all kinds of stuff. So I'm just thrilled that they're in their busy lives they find time to to play in jazz ensemble. So I'm just, I'm just so thankful and grateful for that. So here we go. Ginger had more, ginger's head.
Here they are, Solon High School Jazz Ensemble 1. Solon High School Jazz Ensemble 1. Connor Grimm, Nicole Williams, Melanie Malden play a little baritone sax over there, Patrick Burke. So we thank you for coming out this after, uh, this evening. So we started earlier this evening. It seems like it went pretty fast. That's, uh, that's pretty good. If you've been in the audience the entire time, you deserve a brownie. So go get you one. And um, <laughs> a warm brownie, just like the, uh, the soloist voice. Um, so a couple of things I want to announce. Once more and more time. Um, I think on excuse me March 9th will be our jazz festival, which is pretty much set up like you just witnessed. But we will have a guest soloist, um, a guest like a professional musician from the Cleveland community, come and play with all of our bands. Um, and we'll also have um, a jazz vocal soloist. Um, and it's a it's a night of jazz. And looking forward to March. Let's see, March 5th, that's the weekend before, is the Solon High School Music in Motion Show Choir Invitational. Come check that out. Look for announcements. We'll be announcing to the community. Also, April 7th through 10th, look for um, We Will Rock You, the Queen Musical. It's going to be out of sight. You see what kind of talent we have singing. So, and they can act and dance too. So, thank you once again for supporting Solar Music Parents and our fantastic music program, our students and parents alike. Thank you so much for coming out. And there's, they're closing out the auctions now. Um, I don't know, we, I didn't get a, a text for last call or anything for the auctions, but I'm not sure what time they close, but I think you can go and check it out one more time and go. Uh, if you see something that's bid really high, just take it another dollar up and you'll be good to go. All right. Thanks again, you guys, and have a wonderful evening.
don't think. Do we need to strike, Mr. Ash? 